What is kryptonite? Well, for the uninformed, kryptonite is the pieces of Superman's planet Krypton. It changes once it gets under Earth's yellow sun and atmosphere just like Superman, but it has some rather interesting effects. Now, everybody knows about the green kryptonite, that's the most common and basic type of kryptonite. But there are a lot of different colors of kryptonite that are from other dimensions, other worlds, other timelines, types changed by Lex Luthor, heck, we even have ones in the Smallville TV show, in the Lois and Clark TV show, and the movies. There are all these different types and the writers just love to make up new kinds that have weird effects on Superman and claim, oh, this is from Dimension X. But for the record, the only natural type is the green type after the 1980s crisis event. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go over all the old types in the Superman history, so let's discuss them. Just remember, the chances of seeing most of these ever again is very low. Especially that pink one. So green kryptonite is a metallic ore that can also be found as a crystal. It affects Kryptonians by robbing them of their power slowly as it replaces the solar energy in their cells with green K energy. What it does is poison the cell structure of a Kryptonian so that eventually it will kill off the Kryptonian. Now it has been shown that if a Kryptonian doesn't have access to the yellow sun, the green kryptonite will take longer to kill them, but it will still eventually kill them. Green kryptonite is also harmful to humans, it just takes a lot longer to harm them. This was shown when Lex Luthor put a piece of kryptonite into a ring, and over time it gave him cancer in that arm, to the point where he had to remove his own arm. In the show Smallville, green kryptonite is shown to give humans meteor freak powers. This was all over the place as to what it actually did and what the rules were though, because some people mutated and got powers, some went insane, and some had nothing happen at all. It was a bit weird and hard to follow what the rules were with it in the TV show. Now remember, the rest of these are from Superman's history, so we may never see any of the ones I'm about to tell you again. That doesn't mean they're not fun to go over though. Red kryptonite is a lot of fun, as its effects are always different on Kryptonians. Here's a list of everything that is actually done to Superman. Made him evil, rendered him an amnesiac, gave him an extensive hair growth problem, took away his powers, gave him telepathy, made the left side of his body vulnerable, made an evil doppelganger, took away his ability to speak Kryptonian, grew some extra limbs, took away his balance, swapped his brain with somebody, aged him rapidly, changes his personality occasionally, and it's also changed him into a dragon, giant, dwarf, ant-headed humanoid, and lunatic. There's also a version made by Ra's al Ghul that turns Superman's skin transparent so that he couldn't regulate his solar absorption properly and his powers grew out of control. And in the Lois and Clark TV show, it made his powers uncontrollable, and in the TV show Superboy, it turned him evil. In Smallville, it turned him into a rebel without a cause, forcing him to act on his erotic and selfish emotions and making him wear a leather jacket while riding a motorcycle. Gold kryptonite has the power to completely remove a Kryptonian's powers. There is no cure for it, and it will affect any Kryptonian within two feet of it. This kryptonite was mentioned in Smallville by Clark Luthor, the Clark Kent of an alternate universe where he was raised by the Luthers, showing that he was able to give himself a scar of the Luthor family crest, stating that you can't take back what Gold K does. This implies that in this reality, Gold K can cause permanent injuries to Kryptonians. But in the standard comic book universe, it would just remove Kryptonian's powers. White kryptonite has shown up, and it is harmful to plant life only. Yellow kryptonite is fake and was used as a hoax from Lex Luthor. Black kryptonite was used in the Smallville TV show and seems to have the ability to split a Kryptonian's personality into two separate people. Silver kryptonite was used in Smallville as a way to make Clark paranoid, while in the comics, it's used to give the effects of cannabis to Kryptonians. It basically removes their inhibition, alters their perception, and makes them extremely hungry. Blue kryptonite is a kryptonite that only affects bizarro Kryptonians, but in the Smallville universe, it was used to suppress Clark's powers for a short while. And in the Super Friends show, it was used to reverse the effects of Red Kryptonite. And in the movie, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, it was used on Ultraman, and it had the same effects as Green Kryptonite does on our Superman. Pink Kryptonite was used in a joke comic for Supergirl, and while never actually confirmed, it was extremely heavily implied that it would turn Kryptonians into homosexuals. There's also a purple kryptonite that appeared in the 1950s. It was never shown to have any effects, and the theory is that it was just an indecision of the writers over what the color of the kryptonite should be. Another one was called the Magno kryptonite, which is used to track down other objects from Krypton. Jewel kryptonite amplifies the psychic powers of people in the Phantom Zone, and in Smallville, it gave Clark the ability to make somebody do anything he wanted to do once. Bizarro red kryptonite is red kryptonite that affects humans. Purple spotted kryptonite was used in the Crypto Superdog TV show, and it makes Crypto chase his tail. 
Red slash green kryptonite is made by Brainiac and it mutated Superman to the point of having a third eye in the back of his head. As the mutation lasted longer than a normal red kryptonite mutation, it seems to be implied that the red part of the kryptonite made the mutation last longer. Synthetic kryptonite was used in Superman 3, tar was placed into the formula that makes up kryptonite, and the effects on Superman were that he basically became evil. Opal kryptonite was used by Terry Sloan in Earth 2 to drive Kryptonians temporarily insane. Crimson kryptonite was created by Mr. Mixel Pitalik, and it completely removed Superman's powers. But it did come with a rule, because it was given to Lex Luthor, he was told that he cannot tell Superman that it came from Mr. Mixel Pitalik. Well, he did tell Clark, not knowing that Clark was Superman, so Superman got his powers back. And that's all the types of kryptonite that I could find in my research throughout Superman's history. Now, as far as I could find, we only have green kryptonite in the New 52. There may have been more that popped up in some obscure story because Superman does have a lot of books and I really only follow the main Superman book. But like I said, even if more than green kryptonite has showed up in the New 52 universe, green kryptonite is the only natural kryptonite that came from Krypton. Every other type of kryptonite that has ever shown up has been altered by humans like Luthor or just some weird dimensional crap. So I hope you found this informative and if you did, make sure you hit this video with a like and subscribe to the channel for more. I hope to see you guys next time right here at Comic Story.